Okay, so if you want to make three juices in under three minutes for your cafe, let's go. Hello, welcome to the Kuvings Cafe. My name's Gary Douse. I'm in the cafe today. I have the commercial juices, the CS600 and the CS700. And what I want to do is show you how you can use Kuvings Cold Press commercial juices to do on-demand juicing. Now, if you've got a cafe or a business and you're wanting to add cold press juice um, to your business, then you have two options really. You can do bottling, grab and go solutions where you make a bottle of juice, you put it in the fridge or in some ice bucket, you do it in the morning. We've already done that video, so go and have a look at that video and watch how you do your bottling grab and go solutions. In this video today, I wanna to do the on-demand juicing. So on-demand is where you haven't pre-made any of the juice, you're just going to make the juice as customers order. So let me explain to you a few tips and tricks on how we go about doing that. The first thing you need to do is you need to be prepared. You need to have your juicing station set up so that you can make multiple juices. Now, what do we got? I'm going to keep it simple. I've got a red juice, an orange juice and a green juice. I've got two machines and I've got a spare headset as well. So what that allows you to do is it allows you to pull off that one, pop on another headset and run a different juice through there. The other thing you want to do in preparation is for things that maybe need peeling, right? So we don't peel beetroot, we don't peel carrots, we don't peel apples, so we don't peel celery or cucumber or ginger or lemon. Most of the stuff can go straight through the machine, but some things do need a little bit of peeling. For example, your oranges. So have a look here, you don't want orange peel going through the juices. So we have a peeler, we have a great orange peeler. Let me show you what I've got, how it works. So I really highly recommend invest, if you're gonna make orange juice in your cafe, in your business, that you invest in a peeler. Easy, simple to use, you pop the um, top down in the bottom. Now you can just press on. Totally simple, easy to use machine. And what we love about it is consistency. If I was doing that myself with an orange, let me grab one. If I'm trying to do that with a knife and I may be hacking it up, you can see that it may take me a little bit longer but I'm also hacking it up a little bit. So I'm gonna be wasting some produce and cost to you. So when you use a peeler, you get a consistently peeled orange and you can work out exactly down to the orange, your costs. So prepare, preparation is key, use the peeler. Now, of course, the tops, we would cut them off as we go about juicing. We don't need to do that ahead of time. We just do that as we juice. Apples don't need peeling. As I've mentioned before, most of the stuff you don't need to peel. The other thing though, I will give you a good tip on, is making some concentrates. So what are concentrates? Let's say in this example, I've got a red juice and a green juice. So ahead of time, you can make straight beetroot juice. We call it a beetroot concentrate you put it in the fridge, and then all you have to do when somebody orders a juice that has beetroot in, you just pour two tablespoons, 50 ml of concentrated beetroot, and then you're only juicing your apples and your lemon and your ginger. You've made the juice without having to juice beetroot. I do the same with greens. So I get some kale and get some spinach. Juice all that ahead of time, pop them in the fridge, now you've got a nice concentrate which you can add cucumber juice, add lemon to the concentrate, and you don't have to juice the leafy greens, which are time consuming and take up um, a little bit more work to clean. 
When you make a concentrate, here's another little tip for you. Don't do a litre of concentrate and then use that much on day one, that much on day two, that much on day three, because you're exposing the concentrate to air. It won't last as long. Get smaller bottles for your concentrate and then you're only opening each day what you need to use and it's staying fresh for easily four, even five days when you make the concentrate. All these little extra tips is what Kuvings is uh, a specialty at doing. We have commercial business managers that come out to the stores, they come out to your business, or they can do via um, online if you're in an outside of a CDB area and talk to you about how you go about making juice on demand in your business. The business managers, they've worked in the industry, they've worked at markets, they've worked in juice bars, they've worked in cafes, and they understand how you might be able to work your solution for your cafe or your business. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different set of recipes, a different set of goals they're trying to achieve with on-demand juicing. So talk to the people that do it regularly, let them help you. They're only a phone call away. I highly recommend you use that service. Now, what about with cost and maintenance to do with cold press juicing? So our machines, look at the size of them, commercial quality cold press juicer. It's not taking up a lot of room, not a lot of real estate in your cafe, on your bench. The motor, you get a five year warranty for commercial use, that's five year warranty, very strong motors. You get a um, 12 month warranty on the parts and there isn't a lot of cost involved. Inside, there is a juice strainer, juice strainer like this. Now, depending on the amount of juicing that you're doing in your business, you might need to replace the strainer every 12 months, six months, even if it's three months and you're making lots of juice, it's a $99 part. So it's a very low cost as a maintenance to make sure you're getting good quality, maximum amount of juice from your produce. The other thing that can help is if you buy your produce, buy your produce fresh, it has more juice in it. If you make your recipes, your menu, set it up to be seasonal so that during the winter season, for example, there's an abundance of oranges. They're cheaper, they've got more juice, they haven't been in cold storage, you're going to get more value for your money. The last thing I want to talk about is that um, the machines aren't suitable for dishwashing, especially the hot high temperatures of a dishwasher in a commercial cafe or a commercial kitchen. The, ma the materials that are used are, don't have the hardening um, harsh chemicals used to make them dishwasher proof because we don't want those chemicals, the BPAs and the phthalates, in getting leached into our juice. With the stainless steel option, yes, you can put that stainless steel bowl into a dishwasher and that might be a solution for you if you're wanting to um, clean your machine that way. Now let me show you exactly how, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how long it's going to take, how simple and easy it is to make three juices. I'm going to make a red juice, an orange juice and a green juice. A customer's come into you, to the shop and they've ordered, one person wants a takeaway juice, two people are sitting down to have their juice. I'm going to show you how long it's going to take me to make those three juices. So let's start juicing, shall we? I've got someone's ordered a green juice and that's for dine-in, so I'm going to put about 50 mils of green concentrate. Someone's ordered a red juice, so this is straight beetroot. I'm going to do the same, put about 50 mils of beetroot concentrate straight into the juicer. And someone's ordered an orange juice for takeaway. So let's start juicing, shall we?
So in about three minutes, we've made three completely different juices, an orange, a green, and a red. We're ready for service, ready for them to go out. It doesn't take a lot of time. Yes, it is cold pressed juice. Yes, they are considered slow juice machines. But when you have the right setup, when you have the uh, preparation ready to go, you can make lots of different qual juices for your customers. Now, a couple of little tips. Keep your recipes simple. Keep them colours. Red, yellow and green, that's what customers buy with their eyes. They see the colour and they will love it. Yes, you can get fancier, more fancier juices once you get established and you've been doing it for a while. We have some customers who have three, four, five machines and multiple top sets. Label them. A great thing to do, put a little label on the back of the top set. This one's for orange juice. I won't mix something else with this one because I know that that's now just going to make orange. This one's going to have the greens put through it. So these are little tips and ways that you can make your business become successful making juice. Um, I, last little thing here is to do with cleaning. Now, they can run for quite a long period of time during service. All I would do is, if you get a bit of pulp that builds up in the top, just take off the top set, scoop out that little bit of pulp, and that's ready to go. They will last easily the whole day without needing to um, pull them apart and cleaning. If you set it up correctly and you use different top sets, and especially if you use the concentrates to do your greens and your beetroots and your carrots. Now, if you're interested in uh, what cold press juices, the commercial range of machines can do, jump on our website, kuvings.com.au, go to the commercial page on that website. You'll see lots of videos, you'll see lots of information about using our machines. And there's also a form, if you wanna book a demo, you can go fill out the form and one of our team will contact you. It's as easy as that. Good luck in your business. From me, happy juicing. <music>